This is the best crop for farming XP. This crop allows you to make over 21 mil per hour. And farming this allows you to get easy gold medals. In this video, I'll be covering the best crops for coins, XP and medals. Now when people talk about the best crop for farming XP, most people think of melons or pumpkins. But those people are wrong. The best crop is actually mushrooms. Now I'll link the farm design in the description. But following it should allow you to make over 800k farming XP per hour if you use a rabbit pet and optimize your positioning. Now once you hit farming 40, you can move on to farming for money. But if you've got the patience, I would recommend sticking to shrooms. But it will take about 60 hours to reach farming 50 from scratch so if you farm for like 12 hours every day you'll be farming 50 in around 5 days so yeah for the next 5 days it's just wake up farm eat processed garbage because you can't cook because it's not like there's a service that sends healthy home cooked meals at your door this video is sponsored by factor 75 factor 75 is a prepared meal delivery service that offers 27 nutritionalist designed chef crafted dishes that change every week meaning you'll have a lot of variety each week and it's also healthier because they use organically grown local sourced ingredients and hormone free grass fed meat but let's say you don't eat meat then well you can choose their vegetarian or vegan options and for people with specific dietary needs they even have keto and protein plus also factor 75 offers 4 to 18 meals per week meaning you can easily squeeze it into your routine based on how busy you are personally i like factor 75 because it's healthier than ordering fast food and it's just convenient for people trying to follow a routine as all you gotta do is plop it into the microwave for a few minutes and you're done so if you want a affordable home cooked meals delivered straight to your doorstep click the link in the description or scan my qr code to get 50 percent off on your first factor 75 box and free wellness shorts for life two wellness shorts per order with an active subscription thank you factor 75 now back to the video before i go on with the video here are some things you should know most of these were calculated for a maxed out farmer using a mushroom cow with over 1500 strength and a green bandana meaning the literal best setup for farming for also you should use bountiful for some extra coins and again if your farming level is less than 40 don't bother with farming for coins it's actually better to focus on your farming xp and then start farming once you can at least use fermento armor also all of the rates were calculated by using optimized farms so please build actual farms before attempting them you can check how much money you can make from various crops by using elitebot.dev also the best setup for farming is full fermento as you'll have a high a chance to drop special crops like fermento which will make more money but if you're going for collection you should still use full fermento because unless you're farming 60 full fermento is better than using rancher boots and once you reach farming 60 they are on an equal level so unless you don't want coins and just need to optimize your speed for whatever reason then yeah use 3 fourth fermento and rancher the other thing is you should not forget to use the proper tool and the lotus equipment also get mods like patcher and sky honey as patcher allows you to reach more crops and sky honey has a bunch of features that you might need now here's a list of the best crop for coins. If you plan on directly selling them to the NPC for stable coins, again this is the absolute max you'll make if you have a perfectly optimized setup and skills. On first place we have pumpkin making 15.1 mil per hour. Next we have melons making 15 mil per hour. Then wheat making 14.9 mil per hour. Then sugarcane and netherwort making the similar 13.6 mil per hour. Then cocoa beans making 12.9 mil. Then mushrooms making 12.8 mil then carrot and potatoes making 12 mil per hour and finally the cactus making 9.9 mil per hour but that's just to the npc if you sell the items to the bazaar you'll make a lot more coins for certain crops now most crops will make the same amount of coins if not less on the bazaar but there are two crops that are actually top tier if you sell them on the bazaar first we've got cactus making 26 mil per hour as enchanted cactus greens are worth a lot but you need to add smelting touch to your cactus knife to convert regular cactus into cactus greens. Next we have cocoa beans that make 18 mil per hour. Now both of them are technically better than the best crops in the game but the rates aren't stable so it might be a better idea to farm pumpkins in the long run but it doesn't hurt to check once in a while. 
Now medals are really important because they allow you to buy a bunch of farming items from Anita which can either be used or sold for a decent amount of coins. From contests you can also get Jacob's tickets worth around 32k coins each. Getting medals also allows you to use enchants and level up your farming cap. Now anything higher than gold is completely unnecessary for early game. So to get gold medals in all crops here's what you need to do. Get the blessed reforge on your tool, use the elephant pet if you can't get more than 1171 strength but get the mushroom cow if you can. Also farm in a well optimized farm. I'll link some guides by Melon King D in the description. Now here's a tier list of all the crops ranked from the easiest to the most difficult to get gold medals in. In first place we've got mushroom with the mushroom cow requiring over 450 farming fortune to consistently get gold on average. Cactus with any pet requires 482 farming fortune to consistently get gold on average. Cocoa beans require 795 to consistently get gold on average. Pumpkins require 732 farming fortune. Potatoes require 883 farming fortune. Wheat requires 919 farming fortune. Sugarcane requires 983 farming fortune. Melon requires 1034 farming fortune. Carrot requires 1035 farming fortune. And finally we have netherwort requiring 1240 farming fortune to consistently get gold on average. Also to increase your chances of getting gold, I recommend farming during low times as in 5am EST. Now I'll link guides to building all of the farms I can find in the description. Also if you want more information like this, I recommend joining the Elite Skyblock Farmers Discord as all the information here was to gathered through their help. Also we recently passed 24k subs so we only need 6k more to reach 30k so if anyone is watching this fed and it helps you even a little bit please sub cause at 30k I'll be giving away a terminator. If you watched the video up to this point I sincerely thank you if you wanna watch more videos like this click the button on the left if you wanna continue watching my content click the button on the right if you wanna watch more videos like this comment in the video comments.